Just Desserts is a game about being waiters at some sort of cafe that serves sweets, and it's our job to satisfy the customers and their various tastes, um, cater to their desires, and feed them the things they want, avoid feeding them things they don't want. Uh, there are different suits of customers in the game, and you want to impress uh, either three of the same suit with your um, sweet serving capabilities, or you want to impress um, five different suits. And that's your goal in the game, is to offer the various people who are coming into your shop um, the things that they want. So we are going to set it up, and you can decide if you have what it takes to be a master of desserts. Just desserts. You're going to have a guest deck and a dessert deck. And setup for the game is going to shuffle each deck. You're going to deal three dessert cards to each player. And then you're going to deal three guest cards out on the table. We've got um, Mojo, the Astronaut, and Bob Fruitcake. And what's going to happen is a uh, player who most recently served dessert is going to go first. So the first thing you're going to do on your turn is you're going to draw a new dessert card and add it to your hand so you'll have more cards. And you'll also draw a guest and put them out there. So uh, these are the people who are in your shop who are, you are trying to impress and cater to their uh, desires. Um, you'll see on every card that they have a list of flavors that interest them. Some of them have flavors that they absolutely will not eat. And they also have a favorite, which is correspondent to every dessert is, um, a specific type of thing. Like this is coffee cake. And if someone said my favorite is coffee cake, you would play just that card and entice them. So anyway, uh, on your turn you have four different options you could do. Uh, first thing you could do is try to satisfy up to two guests. And the way you do that is you play cards from your hand that match the icons of what they're looking for and do something like Bob Fruitcake here wants um, fruit, cake, and peanuts. So I would say like my coffee cake gives me cake and peanuts and my banana pudding has fruit. So I could give him these things. There are no things he doesn't uh, want to eat. So he'd be okay with giving coffee cake and banana pudding. Bob Fruitcake would be impressed with me and he'd come and be in front of me. And uh, I have now enticed him and he's in front of me. Uh, if I had the ability to win over a second guest, I could do that. I don't have the hand uh, for that. So that would be all I could do with that action. Um, at the end of my turn, you can only have uh, one of each color of suit out there for the guests. So I would have to choose between the astronaut and Wally in terms of which one I want to keep out there uh, because they're the same color. So I would choose to discard the astronaut and should go over to the discard pile. However, whoever is on top of the discard pile in this game is still available to be catered to they are said to be standing in the doorway and other players and you on a future turn if they're still there could still try to cater to their needs as long as they're on the top of the discard pile um anyway that's a thing that could happen an alternate way i could have served bob fruitcake is if i gave him his favorite which is fruitcake um i happen to have the fruitcake card in my hand so i could go fruitcake and Bob Fruitcake would be so impressed that I have Fruitcake that he would give me a tip, which is drawing another dessert card and adding it to my hand. Um, and then just as the other action goes, Bob Fruitcake would come and stand in front of me and I'd discard this and uh, we would resolve the color thing again. Um, so that's the action of enticing guests. And again, you can entice up to two guests with that action if you have the cards to do so. Um... Second thing you could do is go back to the kitchen and just draw another dessert card and add it to your hand. And that would be your whole turn. And then you would resolve this um, thing with color coded things out there. In this case, if my turn ended like this, I would need to discard 
two purple cards because um, you can only have one of each color out there. So I could discard the astronaut and Wally and leave Bob Fruitcake out there. But then it would matter in terms of which order I put these in the discard pile because the top person can be catered to. So I'd put Wally on the top and maybe someone will cater to him later. Um, third thing you can do on your turn is you can dump your tray. You can discard as many cards as you want out of your hand. So if I discard like these four, I could do that and you would draw as many cards um, back into your hand, so I'd get four new cards into my hand. So that's a thing you could do. So fourth action you can do, and this is in the advanced rules, but I don't see any reason why you wouldn't just have it in the game, is um, being able to open a buffet, which is you play uh, four ace cards out of your hand. Ace cards are uh, desserts that have a single flavor only. So the shoe fly pie only has the pie icon, yellow cake only has the cake icon, fortune cookies only have the cookie icon, and Napoleon only has the uh, puff pastry icon. So if I played all four of these, I would open a buffet, and what would happen there is I would force all other players to discard one of their satisfied guests back into the middle of the table. Uh, meanwhile, I would get to draw three more cards um, from the dessert deck, uh, to replace um, some of the cards I just played to take that action, and I would be allowed to serve one unclaimed guest that's now out on the middle of the table. So that action's a bit more complicated, and that's why it's part of the advanced game, but it's a thing you can do. So as I mentioned in the intro, the goal of the game is to try to win three guests of the same suit or five guests of different suits. So if I were to manage to entice all three of these guys in front of me, over the course of multiple turns, because you can only do up to two per round, uh, I would immediately win if I managed to get all three in front of me, or if I had um, five different suits out there. So, so if I had these people in front of me, that would also win me the game. In the advanced rules of the game, there's something called poaching, which as uh, an action, as part of your um, enticing a guest, you could choose to try and poach a previously satisfied guest from in front of somebody else. So say someone else has scored the astronaut, and I'm like, I really want that astronaut over here in front of me. So as one of my enticing actions, I could be like, you know what, I'm going to offer that astronaut some s'mores, and she's going to be really impressed with that. Um, the other player has a chance to block that poach by being like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to play a baked Alaska and a banana pudding to keep her impressed with uh, me. And if that were the case, um, I would keep my s'mores back in my hand because the opportunity was blocked and I would get the chance to continue with my action of enticing normal guests but I would not be allowed to poach a second time in that turn. Um, if I were to try and poach the astronaut with one of her favorites, and as you can see the astronaut has two favorites, um, I could play chocolate chip cookies and she would come to me regardless, and I have enticed her and there's nothing the other person can do about blocking it, and I would get a tip for playing one of her favorites. If I were to try and poach her with one of her favorites, chocolate chip cookies, and the opponent blocked it with chocolate sandwich cookies, then uh, my attempt would be nullified, even though this was a favorite, because that's her other favorite. If you attempt to poach with a favorite and you're blocked like that, you don't get to take a tip because your serve was ineffective and uh, your card would come back into your hand. Uh, another thing that could happen is if someone were trying to entice a guest out of the center table um, or during poaching, you could intercept them out of turn by saying surprise and offering them their favorite. And as with blocking, the... Uh, person who was in the middle of taking that action to entice them would return their unused desserts to their hand and continue as if that attempt hadn't happened. Um, the difference here is if you do that, um, they can attempt to poach a different guest. Uh, they can't immediately poach that surprise guest, but they might do so on their next turn. Um, and if a poaching attempt is blocked with a favorite and then someone tries to surprise with the other favorite, like chocolate chip cookies, 
the guest in question, uh, the astronaut here would uh, choose to go with the person who played the first favorite because the first favorite takes precedence in that circumstance. And if you played favorites in that circumstance, you do not get a tip because there are no tips at surprise parties. So anyway, you keep doing that until someone gets three of a kind or uh, one of five different suits, and that's the game. Just desserts! Okay, here we go. It's time... Okay, so I can just draw a card, right? So you start, I... well, you you start, start by, by drawing a dessert card and a guest card. Yep. Oh, so I draw a dessert card for me. And that guest is out there. And the guest just Yes. Is. Yep, is just out here in this line of guests. This is the hermit. His favorite is the chocolate eclair. Oh. Uh, so you want chocolate puff pastry and a little bowl of probably not gross oatmeal. Oh. I think that's probably pudding. pudding. Cream or pudding. Yeah. 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 <sighs> Whose sweet tooth are you going to tempt, Bonnie? Nobody's. Do I have to tempt a sweet tooth? No. You um, can draw a card. Your option. Yeah, you, you could go, go back to the kitchen. Go back to the kitchen. Draw back to the kitchen. All right, it's the end of your turn. You have to discard one of these two. Either Mrs. Jenkins or Agent 17. I'll assume Agent 17, since he's allergic to all the peanuts in your hand. Okay. <laughs> Agent 17 so is now standing, standing, standing in the door, door <laughs> talking on his little <laughs> ear microphone. Oh, well, let's see who showed up. The hippie. <laughs> Hippies like ice Not cream, me. chocolate, and fruit. His favorites are Neapolitan ice cream and banana splits. Okay. So I'm going to give s'mores to the astronaut. Oh. Okay. Which satisfies both. Chocolate and uh, cookies. The chocolate and cookies. Yep. And isn't peanutty. And isn't peanutty. Good job. That astronaut bought food from you. Um, I guess I go into the kitchen and get something. Oh no. Draw a guest. Baked Alaska for Mojo. What a weird guy. He's just walking around with a record. Is. Well, everyone wanted the astronaut. I guess not. Huh. Oh, I don't know who I thought I was going to play. Was it Agent 17? It's still standing in the door. It wasn't. Mm. I don't know what I was thinking about. Uh, neither. Maybe you should go back to the kitchen. Um... I'm going to give this hippie an ice cream sandwich, which satisfy, satisfies ice cream and chocolate. you have to satisfy the fruit also. Yeah. Do I? Oh, yeah. no. Okay. I see. Well, I guess I'm going back to that kitchen because I can't do anything. You can play multiple cards to do it. Yeah. But you have to satisfy all of them. I'm deciding if I want a poacher from you. Wally. Walnut brownies. <coughs> Get out of my shop. <laughs> Walnuts are so gross. I like walnut brownies. Well, I feel bad I for that poor gross. agent that's hanging out in the door, so I'm going to give him his favorite Belgian waffle. Oh, he's so excited! <laughs> he come back in. Um, he tips you, doesn't he? Yeah. Yes, because he, buy, he buys favorite. you some dessert. Yep. All right, so then that's Bonnie. I draw a guest. You draw a card. Yep, a dessert card and a guest card. And then a guest. Oh, man. Okay, and a guest. I am going to satisfy the hippie who wants the baked Alaska. No, that's Wally, uh, Mojo. Wally, Mojo oh, Mojo's gonna, favorite is, is baked Alaska. I'm going to satisfy Mojo with baked Alaska. Pretty good. So you you get a tip. A tip. Of he is satisfied. Card. Okay, uh, she it's still technically her turn, because you can satisfy up to two guests. Oh. Okay. So oh. if you can satisfy someone else that's out there, do it. Otherwise... Wait, hold on, okay. Um... Right. 
or poach his astronaut, 18. I guess, or my well, eight to seventeen. But to poach, seven, so. it's like I have a card that's her favorite thing. Uh huh. Is yeah, that poaching? You can, you can, you can poach. poach her. Yeah. yeah, that's apparently a thing. Oh no! Does she tip me after no. I poach her? Wait, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh man. The only so time you wouldn't get tipped cards. if it were a surprise. That's right. Okay, I think that's my turn. Yeah, that seems true. Sorry, Josh. I'm in it I mean, to win it, because I'm sure there's cake for the winner. Well, Probably only not. if you're making it. I will um, make a cake, if you have the stuff. So we have it. I do have cake mix. Sean doesn't like cake. It's true. <laughs> you don't like a lot of things, though. Mm, that's true. What do these people want? It's okay. I don't like ice cream. Well, I happen to know someone has so an ice cream well. sandwich. I do have an ice cream sandwich, so, yeah. you know, that's going to happen. Yeah. Yep. Two. Oh! <laughs> the good news. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. I'm going to play an ice cream sandwich. Make this Inga girl happy. Inga. And she's going to tip me with some crap dessert. And can I satisfy anyone else's sweet tooth? I can with some ice cream cake for this little girl that I'm selling Okay. in my windowless panel van. Great. Uh, Creeper. Marianne. Coconut custard pie. <laughs> well, if I choose between you and Granny, I'm going to choose Granny. Well, let's see. I've just got a handful of nonsense. Um, I'm going to provide Mrs. Jenkins pecan pie and carrot cake to fulfill her needs. Oh. Unless someone wants to interrupt me with a surprise by playing zucchini nut bread, which they could do, but they would not get the tip for doing so. That's true. Boom! Are you discarding Granny or are you discarding Marianne? In the door. <laughs> Is it my turn? Yes. Okay. So I need a guest. I mean, I guess I could satisfy a second guest, but oh, I'm not going sorry. to. It's fine. I kind of wasn't thinking about it. And I'm going to invite Mary back in with the coconut custard pie that she loves. Oh. And. Have a tip. Get a tip. Woohoo. You just have all the desserts. Okay. What can I do? What can I do? What uh, can't you do? I know, right? <laughs> um... Well, I'll let Brown this loser. Um, let's see. I mean, nobody wants any of the things I have. Damn. So that's going to be All my right. big plan. I'm going to use two cards, and I'm going to get the dude. Oh. Because chocolate dipped strawberries and um, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas treats, Christmas treats yeah. are... Yeah. You know, like fondue. Seems true. All right. That little boy wants his s'mores. Well, unfortunately, we already know that the s'mores were the first thing that got played, so. Um. Sorry, oh. little boy. Nobody cares what Sorry, you want. Sorry, I should probably put these more in the... Yeah. So remember, you're trying to get either three of a kind or five different kinds. Yeah, so if you can get uh, one more of those blue measuring cup suits, you win. Oh, right. Yep. Dang it. Oh, wait, no, I should be okay. Wait. Oh, I got this. <laughs> you say a lot of things. You know we'll what? We'll see. Maybe I don't get this. We'll see. Sean's well on his way if he can capture that little boy's interest. <laughs> Sorry, just a sec. Um, 
Guess I'll give the Hermit chocolate cream pie and a cinnamon roll. I swear, this he's, is you. For... He's a beggar, he's not gonna be too picky about it. <laughs> Um, all right, I'm going to set up Granny with some strawberry shortcake and some vanilla ice cream, so she's pretty happy. And who liked chocolate eclairs a lot? I know it was somebody. Mm -hmm. I don't have an answer for you. It's not my people. It's one of Bonnie's people, I think. Oh, chocolate eclair. My guy. Dang it! I don't want to steal Josh's guy. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> you know what I care is uh... All right, I attempt your beggar away with my chocolate eclair recipe. You could attempt to re-satisfy that hermit to prevent if that. If I poach. have one of his other favorites. No. Yeah, if it's his favorite. Oh yeah, have. use the favorite. Yeah. yeah. All right. What's Granny's favorite? Zucchini nut bread. Yep. No. A apple, apple pie. This, this is Jenkins' favorite uh, zucchini yeah. nut bread. Apple pie a la mode. Um. Okay. How do the creators of this game not weigh five hundred pounds? <laughs> Maybe don't they, do. they don't. Tourist. Are you eating again? It's research for my game. <laughs> uh oh. You're going to re satisfy Marianne, otherwise, I'm going to poach her from you. But I used her favorite to get her. Doesn't but matter. Don't, don't have her. You have to keep now, her attention now. I right offer now. her a Boston cream pie and coconut macaroons. Uh, so she's like, "Dang, oh, those sound tasty to me right now." Dang it, I can't. Well, oh well. Guess what? Oh, you. Marianne is over here <laughs> with me now. You do. And I'm going to discard <laughs> the tourist. He's standing in the door. Oh no. Well, I am gonna get that tourist right back. Oh, well, hold on, wait, let me draw. Okay. That doesn't go in your hand. The professor. Oh, she looks like she likes boring crap. She likes strawberry shortcake but or pineapple upside down cake. I'm going to uh -oh. get the tourist back because I have his favorite black forest cake. Okay. And he's going to tip me. That's true. And... Ugh, I can't get the little boy. Dang it. Oh man, cheesecake? I want cheesecake. <clears throat> I could just take options away from people. Because I'm yeah. that kind of girl. And that's what I did. I know, you loser. You know what? I'm going to take Wally because he's hot. Hey. He's a cartoon kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, that happened, I guess. This game can get kind of competitive. Kind of. This guy claims he's an emperor. <laughs> this is he's an emperor of desserts. An emperor. <laughs> Devil's food cupcakes or chocolate angel food cake? Ew! Who Very do that to Royal flavors. <laughs> <laughs> Bold. Ew. He's a visionary. No, he's crazy pants. He just thinks he's an emperor. <laughs> right, I have to see what everybody's favorites are. Coconut custard pie, apple or the apple turnover, or Belgian waffles, <laughs> which are not a dessert. 
He thinks they are. <laughs> Who are you to tell me <laughs> that he's Agent, wrong? Agent 17, that just tells you what his life is like. He's just like, Belgian waffles, the greatest thing. The greatest dessert ever. I don't know, I didn't look at their Belgian waffle. Maybe it was pretty desserty. Alright. That it? Yep. Oh, kitchen time! Oh, well, that's terrible. Oh, which one of these do you want discarded? Oh, oh yeah. Lumberjack is out. The Portlander. Roland. Hello, I am Roland. I'm really into cinnamon rolls. Let's see. <laughs> I don't do apples. I'm gonna I'm gonna give that lumberjack girl an ice cream cone, so she's really happy. She tips you. She does. Awful. <laughs> and then it's like whatever was in her pockets at the time. It's like here, I have an ice cream bar that someone gave me like a week ago. And then I'm gonna give some fudge and a cake donut with sprinkles to the emperor, and I've got three of a kind. Unless someone can uh, poach him from you with a surprise if they have devil's food cupcakes or chocolate, chocolate angel, angel food, food cake. cake. No, and we don't finish the round. Nope. They're, no. Oh, okay. yeah. Man, I got so close. I am the dessert hostess with the mostest. <laughs> I was I was hoping to get you these singles it. so I could uh, make yeah, everybody put too. their cards back. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> well. well I Just dessert. I actually like this really, one. Really, really dislike this <clears> game. <throat> Let's not ever do this again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's it say that I liked it and everybody else is like, I hate this game? It says you have no taste. <laughs> <laughs> Just desserts. No soup, no salad, no entree. That's true. They only serve desserts. It's like a cake shop. Uh. <laughs> it's not great. No, it's not. Um, you know, it's a dessert party. Uh, I think what I, I don't think anyone can have like lofty expectations of this game and ultimately you know we can sit here and talk about why, why all the reasons why we think mechanically it's not a good game or whatever thematically why it might not be a good game um, but if you boil it down to its core if people are enjoying the experience, then it's not that bad. Yeah. Um, while we were playing this game, we were laughing about it. I don't know if we were just like laughing at it. We were we were laughing. We were like enjoying the experience. But I don't. But I also think like nobody who was here would play that game again. Oh, one of the people who's here would play that game again. Yeah. Um. And so, you know, I can be like, I don't like this game and I don't want to play this game and be like really down on it. But ultimately, it's probably not a terribly expensive game. And if you want a really lighthearted game about serving desserts to, you know, people like Bob Fruitcake or The, the Emperor, The Emperor, Emperor. Um, Mojo, yeah. Agent 17, The Astronaut, you know, if you... Uh, if you are into this sort of quirky, um, catering kind of set collection thing, then I, it's fine. Yeah. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend it to anyone, but it is a, a game. There are two things that I think are kind of, uh, interesting about the game... Not so much this game, but just in general related topics to the game. Um, that this is the same uh, same company that produces Flux, mm -hmm. and I mean that's that's kind of evident in like general card layout and art style that there's a lot of similarity there. But what's interesting to me about that is that. This seems like it's not in keeping with their history. That they know how to make, like, a small card game that 
is lighthearted and has very simple rules, and this is kind of obtuse in comparison. Well, we were playing with the advanced rules. Even so. I think if you stripped the advanced rules from the game, it's just, can you serve a guy that's on the table? Serve him. I guess. First person who does that enough times wins. Um, I just felt like we needed to have more than that, so yeah. we did the advanced rules. And to be fair, I think the advanced rules might make it a worse game. Mm. Um, and, oh, sorry, you said there's a second thing you wanted to talk uh, about. The second thing is that it's almost the same game as Lap Dance. Uh, which I think is kind of interesting, just that, you know, the the basic premise of both games is you have customers that come in and you want to satisfy their desires in whatever categories that person has. And I think the implementation in lap dance is just significantly better. Um, but the theme there is off-putting for some audience members. So this is really close to being the same general game it's lap dance mechanically light. you think it's lap dance light well i mean it, it doesn't have you have a lot more special powers and ability you have special powers and abilities in lap dance and you don't have anything like that here mm. um but overall it's really really close to being the same game but it feels like it doesn't work to me and I don't know if it's because I've had that other experience and, you know, I want to have the special abilities that appear in lap dance that let you manipulate the deck and change your hand and do different things to get the cards that you need to entice these guests to come over to uh, you and give you the benefits of having them. I don't know. I mean, I don't, again, I don't think you should have those kinds of lofty expectations of just desserts. I think it comes in a small box. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it's just a card game. I don't have the expectations of that. I just, uh, I think it's interesting how close to being the same game they are for me. Right. Can you, having played both games, would you be able to um, say there's a group of people that you know will not play lap dance because of the theme? Yeah. And would you recommend them playing Just Desserts instead for the mechanics? I don't think so. If if this had more, then yes. Because I think that Lap Dance has a lot of depth and is a pretty good game. Um, the only thing that prevents me from introducing it to a lot of people is the theme. Um, this, without having those extra mechanics, is just so light that... It doesn't have, you know, the 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 meat that you need in a in a good game to make it something that I really want to show to people and say like, look at the mechanics of this game. Aren't they interesting and fun and cool? Uh, because the bottom, th this is just the most basic mechanic of that. Of here are things and satisfy the desires. Um, but what I think is interesting there is that. If this were a bigger game, like it could really, really easily be a retheme of lap dance to being about a dessert cafe that I think would be really good. Um, and it just doesn't reach that potential because it is this small box game. Mm -hmm. Um where if it had those additional things that you do find in lap dance, I think it would be outstanding. Okay. I, I can't. Yeah, I know. I you haven't played lap dance, in, so you so can't, can't uh, expand on that at all, yeah. but that's fine. So I would give this like a 3.5. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, Yeah, that's, that's about where I would be. Like, I would not choose to play this again. Okay. That's, you know, I don't know that there's much else that I need to say about it. It's, fine the art is fine although there's a bit of a weird you're running a dessert cafe but these very bizarre eccentric yeah. 
variety of people are wandering into your shop. Like the this, emperor being my favorite. The of emperor those or um, the astronaut. Like someone in an astronaut suit walks into your sweet shop yeah. and is like, "Give me chocolate chip cookies," and you're like. Well, I don't have those, but I do have, like... I'm allergic to nuts! Yeah, I have a bar of chocolate and some cookies that are not chocolate chip. Yeah. I will give you both of these things if you will come and be impressed with me. And then someone else goes, wait, 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 no, no. I actually will serve you chocolate sandwich cookies, which I know you also like, and you come stand in front of me. And it's like, no, I blocked that because now I have chocolate chip cookies. But we're in the same dessert shop. And sometimes people just, like, walk in and then they have to leave because they're the same kind of person, sort of. So yeah. they stand in the doorway and you can still, like, catch them and serve them stuff. And it's just like, okay. So at a certain point, you're just like, this game. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's it's fine. But, like, I also just don't want to play it or recommend it to anyone. Yeah, I agree 100%. So, just desserts. If you, you know, have a sweet tooth and you really want to play a game about serving dessert people, check it out. But don't. Maybe you should um, re-implement this as a sort of, uh, like take these characters and put them in like the lap dance world so like bob fruitcake comes and wants to see what your strip club has to offer and if you don't have fruitcake to give to him he's just gonna go 